being in control of the student like conference I really like because well it honestly helps you with your speaking in front of a group and it helps you with um, presenting and all sorts of things like that and you can kind of take your own spin on it instead of just sitting there and listening and you can make your own points and see what others have to say about that and just I like being in control mm -hmm. of the student like conference and but I also like having people ask a lot of questions mm -hmm. and me being able to answer them. So so the student like conference slideshow is more kinda an introduction introduction to show what we're doing kinda with our POP sites and our POP portfolio sites really are kinda like a running blog of how we're kind of using our iPads and how we're doing in our classes and basically putting a bunch of our best work on there so mm -hmm. it'll help us uh, are we like we're think, already thinking about in seventh and eighth grade how we're going to keep our sites running up until the end of high school mm -hmm. and it'll just show all of our work for six years and mm -hmm how we progressed and what we're doing well in or not doing so well in and all sorts of things like that. It seems and like the traditional way that it was done in the past is that the, the teachers were the ones who had the information to share. Yeah, so. and they still have a lot of information to share, but this time it's the student who's presenting it. And I think that's good for a lot of students because it can help them set goals and really try and work on what they're doing in class because they want to show the parents that they're doing a good job. Mm -hmm. um, I noticed that you're, you spoke about being, in terms of your Myers-Briggs profile, that you're an E for extrovert. Oh, yeah. So I would imagine that this lends itself to people who are E's and not I's. Yeah, if you are an extrovert, I guess the presentation would be easier. Yeah. But if you're an introvert, it, like I said, it just helps you kind of come out of a shell and it'll just make you more comfortable presenting in the future. And I think that's really good because you need to know how to talk in front of well, your parents or people you don't know or your teachers. So. You also opened up Power Teacher or Power Power School. Yeah, Power so School sure. is really cool because it just is all your grades for all your classes at a glance, and and once you get farther into the year, you can see how your grades have progressed for better or for worse. And having Power School keep track of your grades is a really good way to keep them on top because it notifies you on your iPad whenever your grade goes up or down. Mm -hmm. And then you normally want to check and figure out, well, why did that happen? And then try and fix it. Yeah, my mom likes to check my grades, of course. So you, it, some people might say it puts a little bit of pressure on you, but it just helps you work a little bit harder and want to do just a little bit more to show everyone you're doing really well because your grades are right there at all times. So it's not like a report card where you get one every trimester or semester. And <clears throat> but you don't necessarily, yeah. as a parent, get a chance to see the, the cool project or the hear the hear your kid speaking about the learning, right? Right, and that's why student-led conferences are so cool because it's just the student showing their work and just how they did it, and because they know how they did it and why, so it just. I think it just gives a lot more information to the parents. Yes. And who's, who do you think the audience or the audiences will or should be for those? Uh, mostly teachers and, and your parents too and you, but um, if you want to get into a good college, you really want to work well on your site, uh, mm -hmm. on your portfolio. And that's a big thing that I think they want us to do is use them as evidence for getting into a good college.